Will here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm making these sounds right here in the Kima multi grid. Let's have a look at this. It all starts with this sound here, which is a, based around a folder of samples you'll find right in your Kima 7 folder and it's in a folder called Sets of Samples, Tobias Enhus, Tobias Metallic Card, all these Bechet samples. So I start with a multi-sample prototype, Command B and type multi-sample and then double click it and inside here in this samples parameter field put this bit of code which is going to grab all the samples in that folder. Then we want to index or grab these samples with this bit of code which is going to be down next random apps times 42 which is saying that every time a pen goes down like for a Wacom tablet or in this case fingers on the iPad we're going to grab one of those samples and this is getting prepended. If you've watched my other videos, this will make more sense. Um, but this is going pen and the number 1 through 10 is going before each one of these words. So that's going to grab a random one of these samples. We're going to gate it with a pen down. Scale is the level of each individual sample. I want them all to be at a different level, so I've made that a variable. Frequency field, we're going to scale the rate of playback by this parameter, which is a variable as well. And then I want to scale the, all that to make it nice and low by uh, 0.25. Attack time, nice and quick, 0 0.01 seconds. And release time, nice and long at 10 seconds. Then you're going to grab a pan prototype. So Command B, type pan grab this from the prototype strip and drag it onto the line after the multi-sample. In there you'll see this as the default and that's essentially just going to let each one of these samples be in its own position in the stereophonic field. And then we have the replicator so command B replicator and then if you grab replicator for multi touch pen control and then drag your pan from that onto the replicator transform and then hit OK, you'll have the same thing as I do. Then inside our replicator parameter fields, change the number to 10 so that we can have all 10 fingers on the iPad. If you don't have an iPad, no big deal. You can still play this sound. I'll show you how. Go ahead and build it just the same way I am for now. Level will have a variable as well. And then we want to prepend, like I said before, all of these variables with pen and a digit, which corresponds to a finger on the iPad. So now, that's the starting point for this sound. Once you've got that, you want to go File, New, Multigrid, and it's going to give you this blank window here, and then you'll literally just drag and drop that in there, and we'll get started. So that's what I've done here, drag and drop my sound. And then I have a low pass filter, so Command B, low pass. Find that in your prototype strip, drag and drop it in the space just to the side of the track we made. Do the same thing for granular reverb. Find that with Command B, and then drag and drop it into the space to the, to the right of the low pass filter and then finally uverb stereo same deal drag and drop it 
into the space next to the granular reverb. Then we need to route it all. So click on this grid here for the Bechet sounds. And then you want to click Send to New Submix. I named mine Low Pass Filter because that's where we're going to send this sound. And then hit OK. Then in your Low Pass Filter track, it says No Input. You need to hit Set Audio Input, Submix, Low Pass Filter. And repeat for these two tracks. So in the low pass filter, send to new submix, name it granulate if you're following the, the naming convention I am. Then in your granular reverb track, no input, change it to set audio input, submix granulate. Then I'm going to click in the squares of the granular reverb track, send to new submix. Name that one UVerb. And then no input in the UVerb track, change it to UVerb under Submix. Now we're all set to go. Hit play here. And then if you don't have all these windows, no problem. Just hit this all seeing eye up here so that you can see everything that's going on. And now if I take my fingers to the iPad. We hear some sounds. And this is really where the fun begins. Right now I'm hearing all of the tracks, but if I wanted to remove the granular reverb, say, I could hit pass through and that removes it from the signal flow. I can set the cutoff and resonance of the low pass filter. So if I want it nice and dark, no high frequencies or lower these faders. If I have all 10 fingers down, I have 10 samples, so it's a very dense texture. If I want uh, subtler or thinner, I can use less fingers. And then I can just explore. If I want more high frequencies, I want to let this ring a bit, but not feed back, so just be careful with this. I can adjust this. Maybe I want the granular back in. And it's all about experimentation. What's beautiful about this is it's in real time so I can keep playing and tweaking as I go. Down here is my mixer controls. I should mention that right now I've turned the Bache dry signal all the way down. So if I turn this fader up, you'll notice that it has the dry signal in there. I turn it down, the wet signal. And then from here, I'm choosing to send it all to the low pass filter. And then this is where you can start to experiment with your different amount of sends. So I'm only sending about half of it to be granulated so that I can keep some of the pre-granulated sound. Here's even more. So this is a really nice way of making a lot of textures in real time. I hope you find this useful. If you have questions or comments, I welcome them in the section below. 
and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. Bye for now.